with um, Spurs being down 2-0, being back in their home building, and, and the way they were sort of able to dictate the terms of the first half of Game 1, how important is it to, to come out with kind of a fighting mentality here in Game 3? It's just important to play hard every single possession because you don't want to give away any in the playoffs because that will come back to bite you. I've been through that many times. And we expect them to play very spirited tonight. And uh, we're sending our condolences to the Spurs family and Popovich family for uh, their terrible loss. And our, they're in our thoughts and prayers. And it's hard to perform after something like that. So our hearts are with them. Did you ever meet her? I never did, but um, she had to put up with Pop. I know she was an amazing woman. And uh, he's an amazing man. So it's just a very unfortunate part of life. And our, um, like I said before, our thoughts are with them. It's, it's, I couldn't imagine what they're going through. I know it's affected Steve greatly. Same Mike Brown, anyone who's been around Pop for a long part of their career. And uh, Steve has a great outlook on life and what's bigger than basketball. And obviously, this is much bigger. So, uh, like I said before, it's, it's hard to perform under these circumstances, but we have a job to do. And um, I know the Spurs will be playing with heavy hearts tonight. Well, he's a voice for uh, a lot of people that don't have one. And he's, you know, a very thoughtful man and just got a great mind to him, not just with basketball, but with his worldviews and everything, you know, outside this arena. So uh, he's always been great to me since I was a rookie. And I, I know everyone else feels the same way. And he has the most respect. He's probably one of the most respected people in the NBA just for, you know, his mind and his, you know, ability to coach. One of the less important is this as good as you felt, you know, physically all season? you feel like you're in a rhythm? Do you feel like? Yeah, I feel great. You know, uh, a lot of it's a mindset, too. If you convince yourself you feel great, your body feels great, you can go out there and perform. So that's what I tell myself before every night. How's your hand now? 100%? Almost. Like 95. I can still feel a little bit, but nothing too serious. Our pop well coach tonight, this could be a win one for the giver type thing. They come out with some, a lot of spirits. Yeah, you expect them to. Um, regardless of the circumstances that we're going to anyways, this, this team is very prideful. They've had guys who've been in this league for so long and know what it takes to win, and this isn't the first time they've been too, down 2-0 in a series, so we're not going to relax, and we're going to act as if, you know, the series just started tonight. At what point did efficiency become a big focus for you, like high school, college? When did you always. Know? didn't matter the sport. didn't matter what I was doing. I always wanted to be efficient, even outside of basketball. I want to be efficient with my time, you know, especially nowadays with smartphones and every electronic device there is, it's easy to waste your time. So I just try to be as efficient as I can, and whether it's learning something new, reading a book, or playing golf. I just try to spe spend my time wisely because we don't have much of it. Steph just has a great spirit about him. Just his presence uplifts us and it shows how community is. He could easily stay back and say, you guys got this, but he wants to be a part of it. And uh, when him being here is just is just good for our spirit. What's that like for you personally like, these last few games? He's been getting really excited anytime time to shoot the ball. And yeah. The in. He does that on the court too, so it doesn't really surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. You got to talk about Talking about books. You got a book recommendation for Oh man. Right now I'm reading this book called The World is Flat. It's about by Kyrie. No. <laughs> I don't want to ask you that. I don't ask you that. It's not by Kyrie. It's a very interesting book. The title's kind of misleading. Once you read it, you understand why. And uh, it's just about global connectivity and telecommunications and just the software boom, so it's pretty interesting. I learned, a, I learned, it's one of those books where you can just open up a chapter and you learn something new, so that's what I like about it.